When a current is allowed to pass through a conductor three effects can be experienced. One as heating effect, second as a magnetic effect, third is chemical effect here. We take heating effect first. Let us consider a resistor AB having a potential difference V let a charge Q is flowing through it for time T, then V equals W upon Q, therefore W equals VQ. Now when electrons flow. A kind of a work is done. That convert into heat energy H therefore H equals VQ. Where Q equals IT, putting this value in. We get H equals VIT, this is the amount of heat produced by a current I. When a current is allowed to pass through a resistor for a time T, a kind of work W is done. So power is defined as rate of doing work. That is P equals W upon T, SI unit power equals joules upon second. Equals JS, one word substitution as watt. One joule of work done in one sec dot is called one watt. One house power equals 786 watt. Now as we know W equals VIT and P equals W upon T equals VIT upon T, T equals VI, hence P equals VI, but by Ohm's law. V equals IR therefore, P equals IR into I equals I squared R hence, P equals I squared R. Similarly in P equals VI, we can put I equals V upon R we get, P equals V into V upon R or P equals V squared upon R. Resistances in AB are in series. Therefore, R1 equals 6 plus 6 equals 12 ohms. R2 equals 6 ohms. Now R1 and R2 are in parallel. Therefore, combined resultants. R equals R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2. Equals 12 into 6 upon 12 plus 6. Equals 4 ohms. Resistances in BC are in parallel. Therefore, R equals R1 R2 R3 R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R3 R1 equals 6 times 6 times 6 upon 6 times 6 plus 6 times 6 plus 6 times 6 equals 216 108 equals 2 omega.